Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Hello. the stream. Hello. Say hello, Say hello Jamie. Uh, <laughs> how are you? I am very good. How are you guys? Yeah. Okay, well, first of all, can you hear us? There's no audio only from the yeah. game at the moment, so you might be able to hear that. But if you could just... Uh, there we go. There's audio from the game now, such as it is. All right, good morning, driver. Today you'll, you you will be starting off a Network Southeast Class 4 to 1, I think. Uh, slam door stopper service from Haywards Heath to East Croydon. Uh, but also stopping at every station along the way. Good luck. Yeah, it's a 4 to 1. Yeah. See that one over there. All right. <clears throat> right. Well done for setting up the train. <laughs> yeah, literally pressed I put the uh, engine lights on. Okay. Time to open the doors. Yeah, the doors are open. Uh, let's check the headlights. We've got headlights. Smashing. Slowest wipers on the planet. <laughs> right, I blew the horn. Hopefully, you've let me know if we had any problems hearing the horn. That. Yeah. <clears throat> Put it in forwards. A uh, bit of slam door action today. This scenario is Urban Service Network House East version. Right, head for Balcom. Go. Alice in game, how are you, Matt and Jamie? I'm fine, thank you, and I think Matt is okay as well. <laughs> yeah, doing well, thank you. Yeah. Southern Forsyth that's got all the extra advanced features like the cab light. Right, yeah. that was a yellow light we just passed, so I'm going to uh, just haul off on the power here for a minute. <clears throat> when does LGV come out? Um, I think it's uh, tomorrow, isn't it? On Steam, I don't know. I think whenever you normally get your releases on uh, consoles, so uh, they normally release midnight local time on the consoles. But the uh, the official launch is about six p.m. I think on uh, ish uh, on the release day, which is tomorrow. <coughs> it is Wednesday today, isn't it? It is Wednesday today. Good. The problem <laughs> with being off work because I'm on holiday now is um, I have no concept of time anymore. <laughs> Well, thank you, Ryan Worth Valley. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought I'd, I'd break out the Christmas jumper today. Whereas I didn't. Yeah. Because I don't do Christmas jumpers very well at all. <laughs> oh, I keep. There was a really good Xbox Christmas jumper. I was, was really tempted, and then just for some reason, it just never happened. So. No. <laughs> all right, we've got another half mile to the next signal. There we go. <clears throat> so is everybody hyped for a bit of LGV action tomorrow? Mm. Yeah. We've got uh, Natalie and Sam who will be uh, leading the charge uh, tomorrow, which is uh, going to be fun. But tonight it's Workshop Wednesday. So uh, yeah. for those of you that haven't joined us on these streams before, the idea is that um, Jamie and I have a look around Steam Workshop we pick some themes, and tonight it was slammed all trains on the London Brighton, and yeah. um, we thought Morristown with the arrow would come would be a good topic for the uh, for the second one, um, yeah. and um, and we run some stuff. Um, this is all user created content, which means you know it's awesome. You can download yeah. all this stuff from Steam Workshop, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, if you find anything that you you played on Steam Workshop that you would. You would like us to. You think, oh, that was amazing. You have to show yeah. it. Then, yeah. um, then I think there's a, um, a thread there's on a thread the forums, the forum. isn't there? There is. Yes. Yep. There is a thread in the forums. I will get. Uh, let me get my thread up. And what I will do is I will send it through to the mods. Needs more Jaffa. Oh yes. Oh, these look so. These trains look so good in London South East livery. Sorry, I'm being boring. In Jaffa Cake livery. <laughs> <clears throat> there we 
go. <clears throat> Good evening, Flying Scotsman. Let's put it in weak field and get going. Green lights. That's so The Express is now further, a couple of three blocks ahead of us, so we are good. Perfect. How does the horn sound? It's the Ooze Valley Viaduct. Oh. <clears throat> Look at that. I have to remember how to say that correctly because otherwise Moggy gets really, really grumpy. Almost as grumpy as he gets if you leave the wipers on. <laughs> <clears throat> remember the first time I mispronounced that on stream oh my word <laughs> oh so is it, is it oozing bridge or is it in a ooze bridge there you go <laughs> The wiper sounds like a points counter. Well, if it was a points counter on my train, it'd be going eh, eh, all the time. <laughs> For those of you that remember Family Fortunes. Yeah. <clears throat> Scotsman, yes, indeed. A4 Sig, class 41. Southern region, slammed all stock. I like these, Please. they're quite fun to drive. Yeah, this is literally where you used to see them in the archive footage where they were literally hanging out the doors even though the train was still moving. Yes. Yeah. Southern goodness. But would the game end if you got three of them? Very good, Danny. Very good. <clears throat> Yes, Liam is in NSE livery. We are indeed in Network Southeast. <clears throat> uh, if I can pronounce your name right yay and Freud it says what's your Christmas song guys so what silence what's is your... golden silence is golden yeah ah I think mine is As if I don't have one I like quiet <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say I would probably say my favorite Christmas song is I can't remember the name of it but it's by Paul McCartney if anybody can remember which one that is I don't know. When I was young, when I was much younger, and you know, dinosaurs yeah. roamed the earth, um, <laughs> there was I did a I did a stint at the um, uh, over Christmas. I needed to uh, you know I wanted to earn some money, uh, um, mm. and so I did a stint at the local chicken factory. And um, yeah. the radio there was blaring out Christmas songs the entire time. So now I have an absolute hatred, and any time I hear Mariah Carey, I have PTSD. <laughs> <clears throat> There it is, Scott Sonic. Uh, Sonic Scott has said it. Simply having a wonderful, yeah, that's the one. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. I was going to say the time of the Big Bang. Danny, <laughs> ready? <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> dude. Train boy is saying, uh, God, God, yes, ye, merry gentlemen. That's their favorite. Ah, interesting <sighs> choice. Yes, tomorrow's stream, they are going to talk about the autumn car delivery contest winners. Yes, Alex. Yep. Right, three bridges. No Knight Rider. No, I'm not running Knight Rider. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't have a problem with Mariah Carey on the whole, Sonic. It's just because I heard that song 
so many times. <laughs> I mean, this was a radio. It wasn't even like it was a CD where someone had just, you know, who was in charge of the, the audio system had just decided to, you know, hate everybody. Um, <laughs> it was a radio station that clearly decided to hate everybody and just played. It's just like, surely there are more Christmas songs than this. Why do we have to have this one again? <clears throat> The hottest burger is asking what our favourite Christmas movie is. Die uh, Hard. Mar Die Hard. I don't understand the whole f thing with Die Hard. Why is Die Hard suddenly a Christmas film? I d I, <laughs> I, I, that is one thing I do not get. I mean, I, I, it was a know, Christmas I, film the day it came out. Oh. It was not a suddenly thing, but it's it's a thing that everyone makes a joke about because if people are like, it's not a Christmas film. Yes. It clearly is a Christmas film. It takes place at Christmas. It's about the family reuniting. Da 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 da. How much more Christmassy can you get? <laughs> but no, it's the. Uh, there are lots of really good Christmas films. Actually, Netflix has got a really a load of really good ones. Mm. But mine is always going to be Polar Express. But I must admit, Moggy said the right one. Just, a close second is Muppets Christmas Carol. Yes, for definite. <clears throat> right, crossing over. There we go, look at that. You can't turn the cab lights on on this one, Melvin. This is the original 421, not the southern version. Um, the southern livery version is the one that's got the uh, the cab lights on. Elf, is that the Will Ferrell one, is it? I don't think I've seen Elf. I don't remember it, mm. but... Oh, Moggy said Black Adder's Christmas Carol. Oh, that's a good one. Right, coming up on Three Bridges. I'm sure we've been under a lot more than Three Bridges, but... Yeah, there we go, yeah. Does the Jaffa have the cap lights? I don't believe so, no. It was, I, I, it was, it was me that added it into the Southern Region version. Another good choice there, Halls at Forza Horizon 4 driver. Very good choice. The Jaffa was after the southern one. Oh, it might well do then. It depends which one they based it off. Must admit, it's got good brakes. That's stupid, I'm driving it. <laughs> it's true. Yes, Liam, I have seen the Crossrail Tunnel video. I, I recently have seen that. That is very, very impressive. It's amazing the gradient changes, I must admit. It's like the Jubilee line's got some fierce gradient changes in it. And yeah. it was specifically designed for energy saving and conservation so that you always come up into a station and then dive back down from the station so that it was yeah. more efficient uh, on energy usage. It's like these people think about these things. <laughs> It's just people in an office going, "Oh, how can we make it more energy efficient?" I know, we'll put hills. massive gradients on it. <laughs> hills is what we need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw they were using TVM, Liam, and I'm sure I saw some KVM, KVB Belizes as well, the little yellow ones between the tracks. I'd have to double check that. Oh, is that ETCS? They use the same type, same type of Belize or similar one, do they? That makes sense. I should reckon that's probably why one of the reasons why the signalling hasn't ever worked properly on there recently, is it? <laughs> I think that's why it's been delayed, isn't it? Crossrail, that they couldn't get the signalling working or something like that? I don't know. I can't remember. Don't know. This is such a nice train. In a perfect livery, to be fair. Mm. You can put Network Southeast on just about anything and it improves it, even a steam engine. Mind you, it's quite funny. We, we uh, There was a, a Black 5 that we hired, uh, hired in at North Norfolk Railway. It did carry a yellow end. So we put a 
a yellow end on it, and it did have a modern BR logo. Really? Re yeah, really. Yeah, it did actually happen. When you say modern, you probably mean like the modern Steam era, though. I'm, like, I'm not. I'm thinking like the, um, the there and back again logo. That's what I want to see on the back well, of that, that tender. That one. Yeah. With the, yeah. No, they actually put that on the side of the tender. Really? You, really, really, and put two yellow ends on it. Yeah. Oh, on a black five. On a black five. Oh my word. There must have been I would I would not want to have been on the receiving end of all the mail. <laughs> what is your favourite Scott Rail unit? Uh I don't really have a favourite Scott Rail unit. Um I've not seen the newer three eighties and three eight fives in person yet. What is this, Paul Wilkinson? This is London to Brighton. We are coming into Gatwick in two miles. And we are headed for East Croydon. Moggy knows yeah. what that is. <clears throat> what unit, Alan? This is a class forty one for SIG. What's that corridor independent gangway or something like that, isn't it? I'm not sure. I don't. I wouldn't. <laughs> not very good with like corridor things and. Got to learn your southern region unit classifications. I, I, yeah. Some I do, of them yeah. are really really amusing. And yeah. they can, they persist even to today. You know, the class three nine five is is called a six jav. Really? Yeah, not frequently, but. You miss the uh, miss the miss the three one four Hottisburger. Yeah, I must admit I like that style of unit. Those those older ones. I used to commute on three one fives into Liverpool Street all the time. They were uh, not the most comfortable train in the world, but you know what? They did the job. <laughs> did the job nicely. Intermediate guard. Thank you, Danny. I must admit, I, 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 the uh, um, the uh, three two ones weren't very comfortable for full London runs either. <laughs> they were luxury compared to a three nine to a three one five. What are you talking about? <laughs> we thought we had a three two one come in occasionally for our run. We thought we were being treated to royal, like royalty. <laughs> Four and three car stops. Boom! Look at that. Dusty Ben, tube fan, Dusty Ben. Yep. Four big was the buffet version, yep. And they got you got those eight eight ones. I can't remember what they were now. The ones which were kind of a combination of I think one was a SIG and a big. And then there was another one which was only a single like a one off unit or something where they actually swapped out one of them for a Mark One coach. I can't remember what they were called now. There's some really weird combinations. They really like to mix and match. Which is awesome. It just makes the trains that much more interesting to look. Yeah. Well I've now found the photo. <clears throat> can we see the outside? Of course you can, Alan. Okay. <clears throat> Next station is Hawley. 
not the one in Suffolk. <clears throat> have I been on a class 319? Yes, I believe I have. Can't remember where, but I believe I have. For someone who likes trains as much as I do, I've been on surprisingly few trains. <laughs> Mostly because I don't, I'm not really so bothered about riding trains. I like seeing them. You can't see them very well if you're inside them. I did used to count my mileage behind Locos. I did used to do that. I used right to have down. the old Platform 5 book and I'd cross off the trains I'd seen. I did all the whole... But I just like seeing them, taking pictures of them, taking videos of them. I don't, I'm not too bothered about tracking them and collecting them. I just like seeing trains. In general? Just in general. All trains are good trains. Uh, Dean is asking, are you good at in-train announcement? Apparently I have a knack for it. Oh, thanks. Probably not, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Have I been on a 395 Javelin? Yeah, I've been on loads of those. Yeah. Use them all the time. Well, back when it, when it was socially acceptable to go outside, yeah. That is very true. Makes train games but hasn't been on a lot of trains. What is this sorcery? I've never really driven a train either, uh, Hoddisberger. And I make a game about driving trains. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> Where's that mute button? <laughs> Did I see the new blue pullman? Oh, they're so pretty. I like the HST, so as far as I'm concerned, you know, the only thing they could do to make the HST better is, obviously, Bit Network South East, but um, <clears throat> I think the blue pullman livery is really nice. I agree with that one. You can actually see it coming like a mile off. <clears throat> uh, this is a slow service, yeah, Barry. We are stopping at every blade of grass and some of the ones in between. <laughs> is that basically the third rail network? <laughs> in a nutshell. Well, no, they have express services here. Express meaning doesn't stop, as opposed to meaning fast, because we're in the south and therefore nothing is fast. <laughs> What room am I driving today? What's this? This is still the TG thing. Mm. Yeah, I saw Squirrel's vid on driving a train. If the opportunity ever comes up, I'm not going to turn it down, but people don't need me harassing them, so I'll leave them to it. <laughs> Tube van, pace of hype! That's what the it Southern is. really needs. Replace all these javelins, yeah? With some nice 142s. We did an experiment on my stream once. Where we had a, um, I think it was five Kill. two car pacers doing the St Pancras to Faversham run. Wow. We got stuck coming up the hill to Stratford, I think, if I remember rightly. <laughs> that is a steep gradient. What's well, the most they... uncomfortable rail unit you took? I don't know. The thing is, it depends on your definition of comfort. I think discomfort only becomes actual discomfort when you use it regularly. And therefore yeah, you I learn to... Because I've ridden on a pacer once, and I quite enjoyed the ride. But probably if I had to ride it every day, I'd grow very weary of it. And the novelty would wear off after, like, two journeys. Um, but of the one ride I've ever had on a pacer, oh, it was great. I made a really nice change. You know, you can't have I comfort think... on every train, right, after all. No, that is very true. I think for me, it's got to be the 153. Just purely because, I mean, yes, I commuted on it every time, but you, when you had a single car 153, they just it was full every single time. So that's what it made it uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, true. I mean, I mean in, that, in, that, in that circumstance, then, probably the Voyager. 
um, a couple of times. Yeah. I've ridden on. I've, when I say ridden on Voyagers, what I mean is I stood on a Voyager <laughs> yeah. um, for a long time, and I was in serious pain by the end of the journey. Uh, yet, by comparison, the pacer was much more comfortable. Yeah, but that's just because I think remember rightly they replaced an eight, uh, eight or nine car HST with a uh, a four car, five car. I think it was a four car Voyager even, and uh, somehow wow. everyone was surprised that um, everything got really, really cramped. Shocker. <laughs> yeah. Six foot five, nothing is comfortable. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Salfords. Okay. I still like this route. London Brighton is is a 2013, 2012. I think it's 2013 route, um, but it stands up. It's still a really nice route. Yeah. Well done. Carry on to Ellswood. The BR420s are lovely, Barry. There's a BR420 in this one, in Train Simulator. Um, it's yeah. got really nice sound. Sy old synchronous DC motors that sort of grind their way quite loudly. <laughs> well, I was on a bus once coming home from uh, from work, Liam. And um, what happened is, in I don't know how common this is, I guess it's quite common, but the, basically the bus service was running late. And when they get beyond a certain amount of time being late, they just cancel the bus service and chuck everyone off. Um, and so basically they took a three-quarters full bus, dumped it, left. The next service comes in, which was obviously still three-quarters full, and everyone had to get onto that bus. So we all we all sent our letters of appreciation to the bus company for that. <laughs> Earlswood coming up, platform one. Change here for other trains. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty route. The pretty, pretty train. <laughs> Very pretty train. Is the only way to join track in a loop to use a crossover when joining the track to start? Um, I can't remember. I can tell you what I do in Train Sim World. I don't know if that's going to help you in this because I've not tried. I've not, I've not used the track editor in TS One for a long time. But in TS World, I lay a straight. I copy the straight elsewhere and then join two curves up on either side, uh, which then means I can join, do a perfect loop. Um, without needing the uh, the bit where effectively you come across and you end up doing sort of like a wonky straight at the top, which has got the crossover in it. That's I think that might be how you might need to do it in TS1, but I know in TSW I can copy track, but I don't know if you can do in TS1. That's something I can't remember myself, actually. How big is this route? Is London to Brighton's actually surprisingly not that big a jury. It's like 50, 55 miles or something. Um, but it's a busy, busy, complicated 50, 55 miles. Um, so if I zoom out. So you've got... Uh, hang on. Doors open, right. So you've got London Victoria up here. Uh, coming round Elmes to Clapham Junction. Yeah. Um, coming round to... I think, is this East Croydon? Um, and then working its way down to Brighton. If you know TSW, this is the the East the uh, East Coastway route runs over there, and then the East Coastway. This is the line that comes down and meets up at Lewis, um, to where the other line from Lewis ends up going. This is then the West Coastway going off to uh, Portsmouth, and then up here you've got I think this, which is the Arran Valley line. Remember Arn Valley line. I'm gonna get Moggy yeah. shouting at me again. Right, <laughs> carry on to Red Hill. Yeah, Moggy's shouting at you. 
<coughs> Jose, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Aaron is our strangers, call it. But I am strange. <laughs> Surely this shouldn't be a surprise, Muggy. Do I like the idea of a hilarious fictional train Flintstone style, where the passengers have to use their little legs to run under the carriage to get it to move? <laughs> it's not high on my wish list, it has to be said. <laughs> It would be interesting, I must admit. It would be something very, very different. But then back in MSTS days, someone made a donkey that yeah. basically ran like a train and what even hauled a cart. What about the Easter bunny train? The Easter. Can you remember that? No. I think there was, a, there was an Easter bunny, like, and there was basically a train shaped as an egg, and then there was an Easter bunny at the top. <laughs> And then I think he used to play Looney Tunes out of it, I think, from what I remember. And then someone else did a Dalek train. Which even had a cab view, it was hysterical. <laughs> Crisscross over into uh, Red Hill Station, platform two. Okay. Change here for other trains. Barry said German Deutsche Bahn is also known for delays. Really? Are they really known for delays? I might be Must now. When I, the last time I went over there, which was quite a long time ago now for using the train anyway, I was really impressed actually how... It's like the time clicked onto the... The seconds clicked onto it and the train pulled in and the doors opened. I'm like... Yeah. That that That's my memory from when I went over there. Um, I was on... Yeah. I, I went on a... From Leipzig to... Sorry, from Berlin uh, Airport to... Uh, via Leipzig to uh, Jena. And, um, yeah, that was my overriding memory was just I was so impressed at how on time all the trains were. But maybe that's not the case anymore. I think I've been delayed once, possibly. I know the TGVs have been delayed a few times, definitely. But I wasn't sure. Swiss, definitely not. I mean, there's a lot of Swiss stuff. And they're not delayed I don't think at any point. Well Although, don't make a way to burst them. There we go. I'm probably gonna get told I said that wrong as well. Right, release the brakes and off we go. A crucible said I've been on a TGV that broke down. How did it break down Crucible? What failed on it? You just literally <laughs> Stop while you're in Italy. Oh dear. Danny says this is the first ICE train he was meant to go on was cancelled. Oh. oh hello, I'm speeding. Hold it. Well, I thought I could speed. just grip it and rip it. Yep, yeah, you thought you could. <laughs> But it was Danny going from Brussels to Cologne. How did you do it, Danny? Did you did you have to use like local trains and keep changing? See, you now that sounds like fun. <laughs> that is true. Have you um, raised a support ticket on that, Joshua? Yes, I've noticed the hourly stuff when I've been building timetables, Barry. Um, there's, uh, it does seem like there's a lot of hourly rotations. 
In fact, even when it's not hourly, what I've looked at, what it, what I've sort of reverse engineered out of the timetables is that they run multiple trains, and each of those trains is running on an hourly basis. Just that this train is on the hour. This is 20 minutes after the hour. This one's 40 minutes after the hour. So it looks like it's every 20 minutes, but it's actually one train on. It's it's multiple trains each doing an hourly run. So it seems like a fairly common thing for them to sort of stick to the hourly side of things. I uh, see if there's no news on the uh, 313 yet. Oh, Danny, Danny said, I had a train to get from Brussels south to north, then from north to Liege, giant Rubik's Cube there. Oh, wow. A bus to Liege to Aachen, and then an RE train from, probably pronouncing these all wrong, Aachen to Cologne. Basically, someone. Stole signaling wise, the IC couldn't run. Oh, love, oh, lovely. Oh, an expensive replacement then. Will the T95 Javelin TVM work on TGV and vice versa? You know what, I'm going to say the theory is yes, but I'm not going to promise that because I don't know. And I'm not actually, like I said, I'm not at work at the moment, so I'm not actually following the developments. Why is slow to be developed? Why, why is what slow? Sorry, BT. These things aren't really slow. They just take time because <laughs> they're quite complicated. Carry on the calls themselves. Now release TGV. That's it's tomorrow. Oh well, tonight on consoles. Uh, be midnight your local time. Yeah. <clears throat> What's next? Coolston South. Is this a, this is a three sig or is it a four sig? This is a four. This is a pair of fours. This scenario is called Urban Service NSE version by Rockrail Scenarios. If you just Google Urban Service, um, you should find it in the first. It's on the first page. I think a couple of rows down. Oh, I've got some history on the four two ones, which is the four sigs. So they're in service between 1964 and 2005 for mainline services, but carried on another five years for 2010 on the Lymington branch. They're manufactured by Holgate Road Carriage Works. There was 166, oh, 100, sorry, 138 class 41s. Uh, their maximum speed is 90 miles an hour. And the train length is 265 feet, 8.5 inches. There you go. There you go. Are you actually in South Korea? Is that, is that, is that, Sang Tong, is that, is that your name? Am I reading that correctly? Apologies if not. <laughs> <laughs> Right, coming up on calls and self. Got a seventy-five limit coming up. Um, yeah, I'm not. If uh, I don't know when TGV will be releasing then in South Korea, um, if it's already um, tomorrow there, which of course it is by now. Mm. Yes. <coughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, train up there on the other line. Lovely. Is this where the two lines are? This is really interesting. This basically there was two lines, but done by competing railroad uh, railway companies. Um, oh, awesome! And um, uh, until they eventually got merged together because they they, they couldn't they couldn't agree to run on each other's lines. <clears throat> Do you know which uh, companies they were? Was it Southeastern? No, no, this was a long time ago. It's like LBSC type era. Yeah. Um, I can't yeah. remember what the company, what the, uh, what. And it actually has quite a nice name, if I remember rightly, on the line. I can't remember what it is, though. But it's usually used now for the bypass line for faster trains. Well, I, I think there's only a fewer Southeast number of stops Cham on it. Railway. Probably Southeast and Cham. Maybe that one or. I guess the TGV is close to your KTX trains then as well. Um, over there, that'll be. I quite like those. I think one of the KTX trains actually does look exactly, almost exactly like the uh, the single decker type TGVs, but the new sort of big bulky ones look fun. If you unlock the number pack of TSW two Mastery, will you be able to use it after the eighteenth of January? Yes. Once unlocked, it doesn't go away. TGV on GWR. <laughs> <laughs> Paddington to ready. Oh no, that's it. <laughs> oh, Tommy Danny, yeah, that would be an interesting TGV on the Isle of Wight. I don't think it would spawn anywhere because I think it's too long. Yes, it wouldn't, would it? I don't think you'll get it to spawn on Tail of White because it's too long a train. It will be yeah. too long for the markers. Let me just consult my friend, the Wikipedia. <laughs> oh my God! I got. Uh... Pearly are you coming up on platform three. Yeah. KTX is called a TGVK in France. Oh, there you go. Sonny Scott says they'll be ripping out the LGV in a Gronk. Might take a while. And obviously Moggy says Moggy approved. There we go. I'm surprised Moggy hasn't taken a gronk on every single route that's ever been made in Train Simulator and TSW. It's a very bold assumption that he hasn't. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember early days of Donna Pass when when um uh, when uh, Derek was rebuilding Donna Pass, that was yeah. how we used to test the route. Well, we're not test the route, but how we would explore the scenery. He'd just drive a Gronk along Donna Pass for 150 miles because it was slow enough wow. that he could see the scenery and stop, click into edit mode, change things, click back into run, and just keep driving along and so forth. <laughs> wow. Derek still does that, does it? Doesn't surprise me. It's a perfectly good thing to do. I know somebody else tried it with the um, the personnel carrier from Isle of Wight, but that's got only a very limited amount of distance it can travel, so that 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 ends rather soon. Christmas says 150 mile Gronk, yeah. 
Uh, is there a scenario, a concept that it's coming from a scenario planet? It's it's on the wish list. Uh, there's no, it's not on the roadmap yet though. You do similar things to find collectibles in TSW. But I know myself, I've done the, um, I've just driven a uh, the 101 up the line, um, so that I could uh, get out, and stop quickly, get out collect the collectible jump back on you know and i like to do that when i'm on stream as well so that everyone else can enjoy you know the uh, the pleasure of me stopping the train every two minutes to pick a collectible up <laughs> they, they people tell me they love that it's their favorite thing i think what they're saying is they prefer it when i'm not driving yeah. <laughs> i think everyone's stress levels go down when i'm not driving the train <laughs> everybody's stress levels must be pretty high now then mm. Not far now, carry on to Pearly Oaks. <clears throat> yeah, I was reading up on the KTX network in Korea and it was, um, I think they use TVM. Um, and or some basis or derivative derivative it's got the same flags um but they got up to 350 Blimey. which i like the sound of <laughs> solar to pasan sounds like a journey good chunk of that is 350 kilometers an hour and the rest of it's 300 or 305 Blimey. <clears throat> Right, Pearly Oaks, half a mile. How long? Are they? Oh, East Croydon. Yeah. Uh, Janet Dunk. I don't know about where how they overhaul Gronks. I think. It, it, a lot of the time uh, nowadays, they'll just go for via low loader rather than going via the main line. But then a lot of places will be able to, most of the places will be able to repair them. I, I know, I'm aware of one Gronk that's never been overhauled in its entire life. It's, it's always ran. It's never had, it's hardly had any work done to it whatsoever. So it's never had a stripped down full overhaul. Gronks don't need it. I think it was a class 12 or class 11, I think. <clears throat> Blue Nine first dual voltage train in the UK. Yeah, it probably was actually. Because you've got the 73, which is an electro diesel. Can't think of mm. any that are run on two different power sources, though. Would you consider adding non-drivable, cheap and nasty AI rolling stock layers to beef up large terminus stations? Um, we've actually done that before in um, TS um, in TS one, and the general feedback is people dislike it because they'll go up and they'll look over, uh, they'll, they'll bring the camera over to these trains and they look bad. Oh, they've got window. One of the ways you make them cheap and nasty is not modelling an interior, but then they look really bad if they haven't got the transparent windows on the side of it. And now the general feedback from people was, don't put this rubbish on the thing. If it's not going to look good, don't put it on there. And that's much more apparent with uh, TS. 73s aren't dual voltage though, Moggy. They're, they're dual power, but they're not dual voltage. Uh, 319s. Oh, 319s and 313s, so they're dual voltage. It might be actually, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> South Croydon. We haven't oh, had a look at the passenger view. We've got a passenger view on this? No, on this one, no. Ah. But they're lovely, and you're Moggy, and therefore you're correct. All right, fine. I can't really argue with that, Moggy, to be fair. <laughs> <coughs> the 
wipe as glorious. What are you talking about, Ed? <laughs> Where yeah, you got the tri mode seven six nines, yeah, AC, diesel, and battery. Oh, are they? GWI working on a Hitachi tri mode as well. AC, diesel, and battery. Wow. Shinkansen and TSW. Yeah, Shinkansen would be good. Again, it's, it follows the same sort of roller coastery type route though on those that you get um, on the uh, LGV Mediterranean uh, with the uh, where it sort of swoops up down. Sort of always, it almost feels like you're flying because it's not straight and level. It's really good. Uh, and a lot of the uh, the Japanese high speed is the same. It's very it's a very strange feeling, and when you go on one, you actually feel it when you go and there's there's one I've been over a junction, and it rises up and down like that, and it just feels so weird. You feel your stomach like a, you know. You like worry lines because thirty sevens your favourite. The tractors are fantastic, aren't they? Oh. You know, a, a while ago I'd never actually been to a diesel gala because, you know, why would you go to a diesel gala was my view. You go to a gala to enjoy steam trains. And I couldn't see the point in going to a diesel gala. But just, you know, um, for the giggles, um, I met up with a bunch of people and we went I went to a diesel gala. I had my best time of my life. It was great. It was just it was amazing. It was it just it triggered so many memories of, of of when I was younger train spotting with all the diesels there. And it's just like, actually, diesels are amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> Less so the modern stuff. I mean, the shed is all right. I like it on the modern railways, but nothing beats, you know, a thirty-seven struggling up the hill with the coaches behind it. Especially when they put the brakes on just at the bottom of the hill at the start of the tunnel, and then rev it up right into the tunnel. See so, you now, that's showmanship. Right, next station is East Croydon. Everyone, do not change here at all. There is never a reason to get off at East Croydon. <laughs> Unless you're moggy and going to work. Uh, Dominus, Edwin, and Rawigal is always a lot of fun. Yes, they are. Yeah, definitely a lot of fun. <coughs> non stops, you know, good trains. AXT TV says LGV Medicine has arrived. Well, I guess it's somewhere then. Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, where are you? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Jack MC to 2007. Have you been to a double, uh, West Somerset Railway Gala? I haven't been to have. West Somerset Gala. You have. I went to one gala at West Somerset Railway, um, and uh, I love West Somerset Railway. is fantastic. Mm. Um, I've been there two or three times now for various things. One of them was the. I can't remember actually. Someone who went with me will have to remind me whether it was steam or a diesel gala. I think it was a steam gala. Um, but um, was yeah, it that Somerset was good. Dorset themed, by chance? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't remember. It might have been a diesel, but yeah. Um, but no, the other one was at Seven Valley, and that was really good as well. Mm. Seven Valley girl is a good. You're gonna distract Moggy with mailbags, quick, Ed. Get your IKEA bag out. <laughs> Sonic Scott has said, I did an all-nighter on the Seven Valley last year. It was a rough night, sleeping on the coaches, but well worth it. Yeah, I've done it, so Sonic Scott. I've done it. It's amazing. <coughs> when you guys come back to the office, will there be still be streams? Yeah, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. As long as people come here to watch them, we'll keep doing them. We enjoy it. Even Definitely. if you weren't here, to be honest, we'd stay here you know, having a chat about yeah. trains, you know. Yeah. I think me, me, me and Matt could talk for hours about trains, I think. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much do, to be fair. We do, yeah. Oh, hello. Hello, oh, there's a wrong button there. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah. First time for everything. I never press wrong buttons. 
<laughs> LG V release England time will be in about three hours, I think, on console. It's uh, just coming up on 9 p.m. here now. Right, great work. Thanks for playing Rock Roll Videos. So, yes, that's the urban, urban, urban thingy. Can't remember the name of the scenario now. It is called, let me find it because I've got it up already and waiting. It's Urban Service NSE version by go. Rock Rail Scenarios. There you go. Um, so, yeah, if one of the moderators can go and dig out a link and share that, that will be good. I will go and send it to them. Right, they let can... me uh, switch to that one and I will change to the next scenario, which is a high iron. Say switch to the wrong one, I think. I can see all your people who you've called. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what <laughs> that is doing. <laughs> okay, let's switch to this one. There we go. Which is not quite right, but it's a lot less wrong. Yeah. And you can show the photograph of the uh, of the Black Five while people are waiting as well. Uh. No, I've sent you. I haven't got teams up, that's the problem. Hang on. Let me just log into a yonder office. <clears throat> oh, that's tame. <laughs> I was expecting something much more offensive. <laughs> Let me try and save this out so that you don't have, so everyone doesn't have to see my entire team's conversation history before they can see this picture. Because I'm sure no one wants to see that. You don't. Stop asking me to show it. No, you don't. <laughs> right. <clears throat> and I will kick off. The uh, the load of the scenario while we await and bring that up here and we have organisation. There, right, there you go, go, folks. We've got yellow at the front. We've got a BR logo on the side. I was expecting a nice big offensive <laughs> logo, to be honest. And as when you said yellow on the front, I mean really barely. I mean, there's all this red and it's black they could have replaced. I mean, there's all this red and black they could have replaced with yellow, though. That is true. That is true. But it, I think it was a last thought thing. It was literally like, oh, there we go. We'll go do that, <laughs> you know, because it was running in the gala. No, this, the BRB screen seems to not be working, JP. I have no idea why. I probably messed with it at some point. Yeah. So rather than re-mess with it live on stream... <clears throat> I think a lot of people are liking the uh, liking the modern five though. <laughs> <coughs> oh yes, Sonic Scott. Yeah, thirteen sixty one that was put into Great Western Railway colours. Yeah, modern Great Western Railway colours. Okay, a load of commuters here at Hoboken Terminal in anticipation of a one thirty nine p.m. departure and await clearance from the conductor. Oh, I've got to remember how to drive this thing now. Where's the forwards backwards doodad? I, I, oh no, you don't do not... a forwards backwards on this thing because that the throttle is forwards or backwards. It's a combined handle forwards backwards. Ah. I don't really have to press any buttons. I'm just going to leave the buttons alone because I'm just going to break stuff otherwise. Let's put some headlights on. Oh. We'll do those. They look like headlights. Yeah. Uh, we are on the North Jersey Coast and Morristown lines, which is the one that goes up this way. Uh, and we, this is the line that heads down to Bayhead, is it down here? Bayhead, look at that! There you go. What a memory! <laughs> uh, and you get a little bit of Northeast Corridor action from Penn Station down to uh, uh, Ra Ra Raman, not Raman, that's something else. Uh, Raway! There you go. Raway. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, 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 do you want to? Do you want to know why? Why they call, what? What that is though? That you know, when you stop there, it says stop here at the railway station. Oh, everybody groan! Everybody groan! Love it! Love <laughs> it! 
Oh, let's take the brakes off just for the giggle, shall we? <clears throat> uh, binary run. No, I haven't received uh, the PC upgrade yet. Uh, hopefully in the new year. <coughs> and then yeah, no one's ever thought of that before, Just Hillbilly. No one, <laughs> ever. In the history of anything. <laughs> Everybody is hands in heads. <laughs> Boo. Very so this is an American EMU. Remember rightly, it's a two-car uh, unit. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a two-car unit that they just spin up as many as they need to. I might be wrong. I might be completely... Yeah, I, uh, am I completely talking? No, I'm not. That looks like a two-car unit. Yeah. I'm just going to shut up. Does this thing have electric braking? I don't know. It might be if it does, it's blended because this handle is forwards and backwards. It seems overcomplicated for some reason. <laughs> Who cares what it's called? Matt won't stop there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Does TSW work on Linux? Uh, not an officially supported uh, setup, no. But don't let me stop you trying. Oh, Moggy's got a, a, a Christmas wish list. Dear Santa, this year I've been a very good kitty. I don't want any prezies. Just mute my, Matt's mic for me. Love, Moggy. <laughs> there you go, Moggy. There's your Christmas present. There you go. <laughs> not sure, Chu Fan 1973. I'm not sure. I will. I'm sure I will let you know when I have it. Coming out of Hoboken. Okay. Well, the second light down, but we've got a green, so let's. Supply the beans and drop the hammer and all the other stuff. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Binary runner said, Matt, may I suggest you have two New Year's resolutions? One, get Jamie the upgrade. Two, learn yourself and Sam to stop on time. <laughs> I've already got two New Year's resolutions. 1080p <laughs> and 4K. There we go! Oh, oh no! Oh. <clears throat> oh dear. I thought you were going to say 8K for a minute there. I haven't even gone 4K yet. What are you talking about? <laughs> so has got Sam's resolution should be learn PZB. I think that should probably be all of us, bar Matt. <laughs> Matt knows how to do it. Well, let me put it in reverse then and see what it does. No, it won't let me put it in reverse. It's locked. Because probably you're going forward already. Yeah. Ah, oh, there is a dynamic brake manual handle though. So I probably need to put it in safety. So I don't know how to operate the dynamic brake. That's the train brake. Cablite, thank you. So if there is a dynamic break, I wonder if it's blended in. Yeah, it's blended in automatically, look. It's blended in automatically. Works. 
How come sometimes pressing G doesn't change the destination ahead and sometimes it does? I think it possibly depends on how close you are to the junction. Um, because be up closer than a certain distance, it doesn't do anything. Because you're on the junction as far as the game is concerned, even if you're not physically on the junction. Yeah, a bit of ventilation. It's very hot and stuffy in my cab today, so... Live it up. <laughs> you get all the snow coming in the door in a minute. I think that's the line off to Bergen line up there. We did the Bergen line, it's on Steam Workshop somewhere. Uh, was, uh, that's been done, it's a really good route. Got a secondary path again, so we must be changing roads again. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Giant yard. Look at the size of that yard. Massive. Apparently the the arrow threes are being retired. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. <coughs> <coughs> it's called snow, uh, Djafar. <laughs> oh, I oh. think it's. I think it's being super clever. Yes, if the door is open, it cuts the power out. Ah. So yes, the fun police have arrived. <laughs> what have we got People here? People asking for the horn. Hi, so we've got the high line. What have we got here? An ALP 46? That looks like a 46 to me. Yeah, it's a 46. Love the horn on this. <laughs> I can't hear it. So I don't know what it like. It's just glorious. All is well with the world when you've got a nice uh, horn like that. Mm. <clears throat> there you go. There's a question for the chat. What is your favourite horn or whistle on a locomotive or unit? No bell. Bit of tilt going on. Right. People like this train so much it won an award. The Nobel Prize. <sighs> well, you keep coming here and watching, so I'm just going to... You're all encouraging me. <laughs> A4 chime, yes, agreed. Agreed. <clears throat> uh, BNSF Union Pacific, what's the name of the game we're playing? This is Train Simulator 2021. Cab signalling, we just got on what flashing green on the top is cab signalling. Uh, and at this moment in time, cab signalling says we are. 70 by the looks at no 75 so yeah we're fine yeah <coughs> moggy can't control me he just <laughs> thinks he can control me <coughs> if moggy had control of the stream matt just wouldn't probably be on i'd be on permanent site yeah <laughs> See, this is a train I think would be really good fun in TSW. In fact, this whole route, I really like this this just general area. Uh, the train is really interesting. And the cab signalling is different as well. It's um, it's, it's this thing up in the top corner here. Just basically tells right. you how fast to go and if you're going too fast. Got another flashing light. Just, just follow cab signalling. Oh, GWI uh, 5029. Personally, I'm quite keen on Britannia's whistles, specifically uh, 70,000 uh, Britannia. That, that, or a GWR high tone. Nice. 
There is a slight difference, actually, dear GWR5029. There is a slight difference between um, Britannia's and Oliver Cromwell's chime. If you you can listen to them next door to uh, next to each other, and there are there are slight differences between them. Uh, the Gladstone, yeah. This I think we're actually going. Uh, we're going to Gladstone on this run. Nice. Bye, Liam. You're welcome. Coming up on Newark Broad Street. Nice. <coughs> Didn't quite understand what that signal we just went by was, so I'm just gonna take it easy until we see what the next one is. There we go, we got low ball. By the way, zooming in on this, you've used the mouse wheel, yeah? Which is yeah. really cool. But if you shift F two and zoom in, you can zoom in much further. So when you're spying oh. to spot signals, the head out for you will give you a further zoom. I did not know that. Facts. Well, I learn something new every day. I've learned something new. <coughs> Gladstones, is that where the satisfied stones live? Yeah, next door to the Rolling Stones. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be the Rolling Stock. There we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Another arrow. Ah, there we go. GWI five two nine. It's something uh, five zero two nine. Oh, I didn't realise that. Was uh, a comet. Sorry, carry on. That's all right. Uh, Britannia's whistle was different uh, than all the other seven MT whistles from memory, not just Cromwell's. It was part of Britannia being the prototype, I believe. The design was refined after initial trials with seventy thousand. Well, I did not know that. Will there be any Ralph Fan TV in the last two weeks of the year? We are currently figuring that out. We are, we are hoping to, yes. Yeah. yeah. can't remember Eds how the cab signaling works I seem to recall that they basically you get told on here when you're going too fast and what your speed you're supposed to be able to go is but it doesn't seem to be telling me what my speed is so I, I might be remembering wrong Where are we? We are here. There. So the rest of the northeast corridor headed down that way. Yeah. Uh, this being Newark International Airport. Um, and we are now on our way along the Morristown line. Right, clear. East Orange is next. Snack 25 uh, LGB releases at midnight in your local area um, for consoles and um, sometime tomorrow afternoon on Steam in the UK, uh, UK time. <coughs> A 
Apparently, unless you're in South Korea, in which case I have no idea when it launches there. Console master, I said. <clears throat> we get a brief window to speed up, and then we have to slow down again. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> when the dynamics kick in, it really kicks. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, I've got some facts about the Arrow. So there's three versions of the Arrow. Uh, this, this is the Arrow 3, which was in service between 1977 to present. Um, they are built by General Electric. Um, and there is 230 built altogether. Um, a car length is 85 foot. And then maximum speed um is 80 100 to 80 to 100 miles an hour there we go little bit of industry for you there well like as thomas it's a southern region e1 isn't it or something e2 an southern e2. region e2 but i think originally <coughs> the reverend audrey uh based him off a lnerj50 but was then changed so if you look at the original model he built it looks like a J50. Right. Isn't this snow while the sleeper's missing? It's snow. You've been to Newark Moggy. Did they put the uh, commemorative plaque up? You know, like one of them blues sort of, sort of you know, Moggy was here. <laughs> <coughs> I thought it would have been one with cat ears, like, you know, sh cat shaped plaque. <coughs> uh, Gerhard Luxem, this is uh, the new, um, the Morristown, the New Jersey Transit uh, Morristown line. I can't remember exactly what the name of it is on Steam. Um, uh, so, but the important thing to search for is Morristown. New Jersey and Morristown, says uh, Sir Francois, thank you. Um, and uh, we are driving the Arrow Three, which is a, yeah. a DLC for that um, for that route. <coughs> they did it. it. Says Moggy's plane broke down here. Love United Airlines. <laughs> I've been to Newark Airport because we that was where my interconnecting flight was coming home from um, right. Tennessee. Into Newark Airport, looked out across Newark, out of Newark Airport, and saw the Freedom Tower. Uh, or whatever it's called, um, and uh, there's the sort of Manhattan skyline, uh, yeah. and then got on a plane and left and came home. <laughs> One day I want to go to New York proper and ride some trains. Actually, really want to. You know, having spent a lot of time um, with the Long Island uh, in the game, I kind of want to ride the real Long Island railroad. <clears throat> Never been to America, so you should. It's a wonderful place. Albeit, it's much easier when you've got family. That is very true. All aboard Brick Church is next. Brick Church as opposed to what? Wooden Church. Wooden Church. Wooden Wooden Church. Plasterboard Church. I don't know. <laughs> wooden Church. Wooden Stay Up. Oh dear. <clears throat> Half a mile to Brick Church. Plus, you get Splinter in Wooden Church. North Jersey Coast and Morristown Lines. There you go. That's the name of the trip. <coughs> Only things in New York City worth seeing Grand Central, Penn Station, along with Long Island and subways. Well, sounds like that would be enough to keep me amused, to be fair. <laughs> I've ridden a subway in Boston because we um, um, we went to Boston on one of the trips because that's where my wife's from. Well, not, she's not from Boston, but she's from Massachusetts. Hmm. 
<coughs> so we rode the uh, <coughs> we went round in um, round Boston for a bit and I got introduced to my first person saying you can't get there from here <coughs> they don't call it New England without reason you know <laughs> people have got the same positive cheerful attitude I'm sure it's not everybody but it was just a stark contract from the contrast from the previous week we spent in Florida. <coughs> <coughs> Livery design winners is tomorrow, Mark. With yeah. Sam and Natalie. <coughs> Orange is next. What orange is next? Orange. What, the fruit? The colour? But not the county, that's the different place entirely. <laughs> that's in Florida as well. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> blimey. Yeah, we, I've been to the, the States. Oh... Must be half a dozen times now, Nick, because my wife's American, so we go all over the place there, uh, meeting family uh, when we can, and uh, I always love it. Always love it. I always hate coming home. <laughs> oh, don't you like us? <gasps> oh, no, cheek of it. frankly. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I'll just go now, shall I? Shall I? There you go. <laughs> No, when the world gets uh, gets back to some semblance of normality again, I want to travel a little bit more. I want to go back to Switzerland. Yeah, Penn Station. There's nothing, isn't it? They got rid of the. Um, they sold off the uh, the, the uh, surface half, and it, and it got wiped away. And uh, now you've just got this basically um, enormous underground um, cavernous warehouse. <clears throat> Did you get called sir a lot in the US? No, I don't think anyone would mistake me for a sir, to be fair. <laughs> what, as far as sitting one? <laughs> Not I said I wanted to travel, I didn't say I wanted to go wild, Muggy. <laughs> Rainham, the Kent one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, may, may, maybe Maidstone, yeah. I was thinking Margaret. <laughs> Off to <the> Margaret. <coughs> <laughs> Go visit the Hornby Museum. That is very true. Just a little bit, you were born in, in the USA, yes. That's going to make it more likely. He wants to go to Blue Water. <laughs> That's not Maidstone. <laughs> Hockey? What? <laughs> right, Highland Avenue is next. <clears throat> oh, my throat. Are you alright? <clears throat> There's a tickle in my throat and it's driving me nuts. Yep. Or peanuts. <clears throat> Chestnuts, or... <laughs> oh, hi there, have it. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. You can do it. <clears throat> Highland Avenue. train fanatic 737 no it's not that Jay. <clears throat> my throat always plays up in one form or another
I'm surprised Moggy has not taken up the opportunity to say, I know how to fix your problem. Stop talking. <laughs> Turn <coughs> off the mic. <coughs> So stop eating frogs. Oh dear. <sighs> Got frog in You start eating snails then. <laughs> Mountain station is next. <clears throat> oh, let's cargo. That's what this train is going to do. It's going to. Uh, let's make this car go. I was just going to say you run over someone. It's like I think I'm going to one of these days. I'm going to make my own route, and I'm going to make this route purely <clears throat> so that. All of the China, like when you get to the end of like a train station in the UK, at the end of the platform, it says S car stop. And when it's time to leave, I'm going to have it flip around in a green sign that says S car go! <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <clears throat> oh dear. <coughs> a picture of a high speed snail on it. Yeah. Next station is Mountain. As Mountain goes, this one's been quite unimpressive, it has to be said. <coughs> horn. I can do Horn. There we go, we got high speed snail. I must admit. I think some people need to make some livery editor designs and put a snail rail or high speed snail. That would be pretty funny to see. Matt has been drinking. Only I've been on I've been on been on the hard stuff tonight, yeah. <laughs> Guinness clear, isn't it? Hard water. <laughs> well I literally don't drink alcohol, so The mowing stock might be sluggish. Ah, oh, props. <laughs> Life is a pleb. This is indeed the arrow three. There we go. All aboard, South Orange. This scenario, by the way, is a high iron simulation scenario by Gary Dolezal. It is Harrow's to Gladstone. If you just search for GWD357, it will come right up. Okay. Speed Slayer in there with the funniest joke on the planet. <laughs> <clears throat> Next station is South Orange. It is amusing what you look at in logos in Sailstra, because um, go and have a look at the um, Edge logo. I don't know if it's still true, but if you look at the Microsoft Edge logo, uh, well, from when Edge first happened, happened, you know, as into the internet in general. Um, yeah. Um, if you look at the negative space, as in the bit which is not the painted in bit, it, it looks like a shower pointing to a sink. Now I've told you that, you will never see the HD logo exactly the same way ever again. I'm now going to have to look at that because that is going to bug me. <clears throat> I will have ruined you forever. Yeah, you probably would have. When you program, do you use PowerShell? Dum dum. I use Tortoise SVN. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, yeah, Maplewood yeah. is next. It does. Yeah. You see the what I mean? I, yeah. The, the other one I thought of is those, you know, uh, you know those tablets that you put in a dishwasher. Right. Or in a washing machine, you know, the, the green, the little square. <coughs> looks like that.
Right, speed limit is 45, we're on our way to Maplewood. This is quite a pretty route, it has to be said. Yeah. Even even at this time of year. <clears throat> Something magical about snow, though. Yeah, I wish it would vanish. Don't say that! Who's hoping for a white Christmas in chat? Who's hoping for a white Christmas? Right, and for everyone that said yes, now tell me if you're a driver. <laughs> yes, just a hillbilly. Yes, for definite. Steam in snow is amazing. It's snowing in New Jersey at the moment, is it? Yeah, I don't know, it's up there. <coughs> up north, I think I heard uh, reports of it snowing. Yes, now that you're working from home. Well, you're not technically a driver, then, are you? If you don't have to drive. <laughs> <clears throat> I remember I got caught working late one night at, um, at the office two winters ago. Mm. And the snow absolutely hammered it down. To the point that it was kind of like it was a gentle flurry when I looked out the window at like five o'clock and I thought, OK, I need to get this job done. So I'll just get that job done. The snow shouldn't be too much of a problem. Head down, get on with what I'm doing. Looked up, you know, probably about midnight or something when it was uh, when I realised I probably should be going home at some point. Um, and um, the snow was basically well, there wasn't snow anymore. There wasn't a world anymore. It was basically it, it looked like it had pretty much snowed up to the windows of the second floor building. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, it Blimey. hadn't, but that's just it was coming down so thick and fast. That's what it looked like. Um, and I had to drive home, and. Kent is quite hilly, um, and you know, just getting out of the car park up onto the main road was quite a sharp incline. Mm, mm. So it took me about ten minutes to get up that very carefully <laughs> because I kept losing grip. Um, most of the journey home was okay, except that once I then turned up to go up, anyone who knows it, the two Japanese roads um, that I can never remember the name of off the top of my head. Um, because Kent is twinned with somewhere in Japan, um, the um, those are on quite steep gradients as well, and I managed to make up the first one without any problem. But the second one is quite long; it's shallower, but it's quite long, and um, that took longer. You know, it was <laughs> as it turned out later on um, when I took my car in for its servicing um, that the brake calipers were jammed on on one of my wheels, so I was probably dragging a wheel that wasn't moving. <laughs> Which you didn't That'd really notice fine. in the normal weather because the wheel, everything would have been, you know, gone round all right. But uh, in the super slippy conditions, it was. Um... So yeah, I was glad I got that fixed. That made life so much easier. Of course, it hasn't snowed since then. Thank you, uh, and I'd like to keep it that way. Moggy said, and the moral of the story is Matt could have walked home. Oh no 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 no! I fell over three times just walking to the car. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it was bad. And it's about a um, three-mile walk in in that snow. No, no, not with Chatham drivers anywhere near me. <laughs> right, I've limited it to sixty since we're coming into sixty. Anyway, Melbourne is the next stop. Melbourne, Short Hills, Summit, and Gladstone Holt. <clears throat> Some people said there might be a foot of snow in New York this week. Wow. Wow. Mind you, for all the complaints about snow, there was someone who used to be on my Discord who used to talk a lot with um, that um, lives in Canada. <clears throat> and basically we all shut up as soon as he started showing us what, what he had to put up with for in that particular instance it was it'd been like that for about seven months <clears throat> yeah you don't go anywhere without a big shovel <laughs> and big car tires and chains is the large metal exhaust in between DMU carriages hot to the touch I imagine so because it's normally black and mm. scarred 
Yeah. Imagine it's very hot. What station Maplewood uh, speed slayer? That was behind us, and it's the uh, it's on the Morristown line, on uh, in in JT territory in New Jersey. Hey, uh, Chris, how's it going? <clears throat> Ralph's in video, make sure your feedback is on the forums. Yeah. It is all looked at, but sometimes what's pe what's asked for is uh, not, not feasible. <clears throat> but make sure your feedback's on the forums. Right, next station is Short Hills. So we had a mountain, and now we've got Short Hills. <clears throat> But that's okay, because at the end we find the Gladstones. Oh. They're locomotives, aren't they, Gladstones? No idea. <laughs> you also had an orange, and a south orange. And I bet you're glad they're glad stones, because you wouldn't want sad stones, would you? No. <laughs> now, did you get an orange for Christmas, Moggy? Wow. Who got coal for Christmas? <laughs> Ah, uh, you see, I thought there was a B1 named Gladstone. Yeah. Coming up on short hills, going up a 1.4% grade to get here, though. Please say probably going to get two TSW DLCs for Christmas. Nice. What are you hoping yeah. for? <clears throat> All clear. Summit is next and the last stop before entering the Gladstone branch. All low passengers on track one at Summit. How are the brakes on this thing? Life? They're really good, actually. Uh, yeah, because it uses a combination of air and blended electric dynamic brake, um, you can hear that that whirring sound is when it kicks in the dynamics, and then the thing stops actually quite rapidly. Sorry, you were going to uh, say, Jamie? No, I was, I was I was saying they are. I was no watching it. They are they are quite good on there, aren't they? They mm. do do stop pretty rapidly. Yeah, they're quite effective, and it's a blended brake, so you don't have to do anything fancy with it except you know put them on. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> TGV and Munchies Augsburg, nice. Chris, yes, we can see your messages. I replied to it earlier on. Yep. A little bit of speed and ta ta ta. It didn't happen. Shh, never heard of it. Question: Is it normal that a person is live on the LGV? I don't know quite what you mean. Do you mean on Twitch? Bear in mind that in certain parts of the world, it is now out on console because it launches yeah. at midnight around the world. So, like the Australians have had it for a while now, twelve hours, in fact, well, nearly twelve hours.
Oh, would a scepter route be possible? Anything is possible. Um, there's no plans for it at the moment. Scepter, that's what, Washington Way? That's somewhere down there, is that? Is that the right bit? I think it's MBTA in the north end of the northeast corridor. I'm sure right. Scepter's south end, isn't it? I'm not sure. Customers are still waiting for Matt to do a Natalie. Philadelphia, so sort of in the middle then, really. That's Philadelphia, right. So where's Mark then? Because I'm sure Mark run on the NEC as well, don't they? In as a regional line. Coming up on summit. Mark is the south end. Oh, okay, that explains where I'd heard it before. They're on the south end. Just a hillbilly, that's a bit fresh, Prince. Is that, I didn't see that one. Oh, I've just seen it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tetris, Pennsylvania, Southeastern Pennsylvania, Travel Sport Authority. There you go. Ah. Why can't routes like those be combined on TSW2? So there is, there is, there is no merging tech on it at all in the game at the moment, um, and there's limited value in joining those two particular routes anyway. Um, but um, and it doesn't help that um, the Pennsylvania station or Penn station, sorry, is different. It's a newer, better model in Lear compared to the uh, the version that was done on the old NEC route. Um, so actually they're, they're different routes anyway um, but no at the moment TSW2 doesn't have the sort of a, a way of joining routes together it's not just a matter of merging the tiles together the track networks and signal systems have got to merge together and then we've got to, there's got to be gameplay then that works across those routes as well so there's a number of challenges to, to face down on that one right it's clear here at summit the dispatcher just indicated there is an emergency track inspection on the gladstone branch we are to pull onto the branch to clear dover main and then stop at gladstone halt and wait for mission to proceed west we have a green signal we are good to go go <clears throat> could you get a proper driver to do a demo on stream one night oh, ouch what? ouch <laughs> But I presume you mean a proper route, a train driver. That would um, be pretty good. That would be good. Um, if the opportunity ever arises, that then uh, rest assured we'll jump at that. I'll yep. try not to take offence. <laughs> be good to get a driver from the route, so like you do a route from them, they actually drive in real life. That would be brilliant. As someone who's been to Penn Station, I you made it way too lively. Now, do you mean on NEC? In which case, yes, there are far too many NEC tra Amtrak trains. But if you did the realistic number of Amtrak trains, then everyone would have said there's no services on this line. Um, so, um, but on Long Island Railroad's timetable, is actually missing loads. Um, there should be a, those. The Long Island uh, line should be a lot busier. I know, Nick. I know. <laughs> Do 
No, it's a good question actually. If such an opportunity comes up, rest assured we will jump on that. <clears throat> it's the sort of thing that might be more practical once we're once, once normality sort of heads towards resumption and we're back in the office and we can in, invite uh, drivers into the office to join us on stream that way mm. rather than at the moment yeah. we'd kind of be relying on the, everyone having streaming capability and um, and being Good wanting internet. to do such a thing yeah it's very different to just turning up and, and, and driving a train and waffling yeah oh yeah I'm stopping here <laughs> I was looking for a green line When was the last time I was in the office? I, pay, I occasionally pop in if I need to pick something up. I can't remember when the last time I was in the office. The, but the last time we were in the office properly was March. And I have never been in the office. And there's, a, so there there's something like 40 or so people who have never been in the office in the company. That's yeah. scary. How does route merging on train simulator work? Um, because it, it works because there are some clever people, namely Danny, who has figured yeah. out a way of um, combining things together. I also wrote Danny a tool which merges the um, tile ma the tile um, texture maps together between two routes. Um, but there's, you've got the tools, remember, built into the game, so there's no need to provide gameplay um, for TS uh, for Train Simulator because you've got all the tools to make your own gameplay. Um, whereas in um, TSW, because you don't have that tool, um, then you'd effectively have a merged route you couldn't use. Hmm. Which is why it's important for that. There's Danny yeah. on the chat. D Danny is the hero we don't deserve. Dan, Dan, all, uh, all, I think all the merges just about on one workshop are uh, are done They're by Danny. Amazing. So huge credit and props to Danny. Yeah, totally. Volmik, what is your opinion on working from home? Not necessarily regarding productivity, but more working atmosphere, video conference versus face to face. I love it. I'll be honest with you. I love it. Um, but it, I seem to have exchanged being in meetings all day to being in meeting calls all day. So really, that doesn't seem to have changed a great deal. Um, but it does mean that, you know, if at the end of a meeting I press end call, I, I then want to, you know, just relax and just take five minutes. I'm immediately in my own private space. So there's, you know, there's that as well. So anyway, well done. Well, we await Gladstone branch clearance, sit back, relax, scenario complete. So that was Aris yeah. Gladstone by uh, High Iron Simulations. Again, that was on Steam Workshop. And then we ran, what was the other one we ran, Jamie? The other one we ran was, um, where is it gone? Where is it gone? It was our Urban Service NEC version by Rock Rail Scenarios. There yeah. you go. I uh, was not in the office from uh, for Jeff Marshall's video. Yes, I was. Um, I can't remember. That might have been the last time I was in the office, actually. I can't remember. Something like that. Yes. Awesome, folks. Well, that's it uh, from us for this evening. I'm going to head yep. off back onto my stream now, and I'm going to play a bit of Firefighting Simulator, because that sounds fun. Nice. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, folks, I will catch you all later on. Enjoy. Don't forget, tomorrow... I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow. is Sam and Natalie who will be doing uh, LGV and they'll yep. also be doing the livery competition winners. Um, yeah. So that should be exciting. The, the entries on that, the quality of the entries were just mind-blowingly oh, good. Fantastic. Absolutely so amazing. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what the uh, the final winners were on that one as well. So make sure you pop along uh, and they'll also they, they can answer any questions you've got on LGV as well. So that'll yep. be a, a releasing for, you, uh, for everybody over the next while uh, and on Steam tomorrow afternoon sometime. Yep. All right, folks. Well, take Bye. care. Have a good uh, have a good evening and we'll catch you later on. See you later. Right. See you later. Bye everyone.